This does not weaken our resolve one whit. It's been more than a month since Russia banned Justin Trudeau. Now the Kremlin is targeting his staff. Canada remains determined to be there to support Ukraine. 61 people from Canada's who's who added to Russia's no-go list, including the premiers of Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta and British Columbia. I consider that a badge of honor, not for myself, but for British Columbia. Russia has previously banned hundreds of MPs and senators as part of a continuing cycle of sanctions and counter sanctions. The list growing now to include military and intelligence officials, even some mayors. They're doing this because, quite frankly, I think they're losing the public relations war. Free Libra Ukraine. Jim Watson likely ended up on this list for his role in this protest last month outside the Russian embassy in Ottawa. Well, on the one side, it's sort of laughable. You know, I had no plans to go to Moscow or any part of Russia. That may be true for most people on the Kremlin's list, but not everyone. It does make me sad that I'm not going to be able to return of that list of 61 people. We've heard heavy artillery in the distance. The Globe and Mail's Mark McKinnon has been covering the war and lived in Moscow during the early years of Putin's presidency. He sees a long conflict ahead. History hasn't been kind to Russian leaders such as Nikita Khrushchev who backed down in confrontations with the West. McKinnon isn't the only journalist being banned. The editor-in-chief of the Globe and Mail and some reporters with the National Post have also been sanctioned, as well as the head of CTV News and the president of the CBC. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.